Yo, call me a box toy, I'm a cutter. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Game Skates. Today and only today, we are here to talk about, that's right, the immaculate, the beautiful Sonic Movie 3. We've gotten a nice news update. In fact, we might have gotten what is Shadow the Hedgehog's full body reveal in, in some sort of form. So make sure to stick around, subscribe to your boy, and support the content. And let's get right into it. Like I said before, I'm not in my normal setup, so sorry if I'm just speed talking, just going through this as I can with no edits. But listen, let's get right into it, guys. So, yesterday, we got some nice tweets by Mr. Tyson Hess over here saying, yo, what an absolute dreamlike experience this movie has been so far. Can't wait for the world to see. As Jeff Fowler, the director of the movie, said, and we wrap. Now, obviously, like, oh my god, they wrapped the movie. Lit. Can't wait. Movie's still on track for December. We can already say W right there. Very happy about that. You know, there was a lot of concerns going in early into the year that the movie wasn't going to make December because there was the acting strike and, and all this stuff going on. There was a worry that it wasn't going to make it, but it seems like it is going to be the least leading movie this December uh, as we have this image now guys Look at this beautiful wrapped image. You see Mr. Fowler with uh, with a picture right here uh, of himself. You know, nice smile, good good dude. You know, love. To, I mean, uh, maybe he's a good dude. I don't know nowadays with Hollywood, but that's besides the point. Uh, he's got an Eggman shirt. Keep calm and Jim carry on, which I really appreciated. But it's when we get into real gaming right here that the conversation blooms. When we scroll right here, we see peak. And this image, I tell when I tell you this image, bro. It, it shifts lives. I, I think it makes you a better person because it's so stupidly intentional in so many ways. And am I crazy? Probably. Is that the point? Not really. But I need to talk about this. So right here, we could see, you know, Knuckles over here. We got some Tails, the previous. And then there's our boy, Shadow, with the That's a Wrap. Now, this is potentially technically the first time we see what shadow might fully look like in the movie now obviously when it comes to shadow some people are like we kind of know what he looks like no remember this design is not actually his real design in fact i was at the movie 2 premiere where tyson told me at the end that like yeah that is not shadow's full design like shadow is going to look different we just kind of did this because you know we want to do a teaser but we hadn't fully modeled a shadow yet so this right here is not our first look at, at shadow this is right here and i know this is him because two things right one they are all in their movie styles you can see right here with sonic um that he's got the line in between you can see it too with shadow so we know shadow's obviously gonna have the split eyes as everybody kind of does in this universe but we also see the quills are extremely different than the ones here here you have sort of a more rigid just upward uh quills whereas over here you have what you know you would assume from shadows because and he looks immaculate bro he looks so good if he's gonna look like this it's jo what he die. and i do love something small here right and again you know me i'm gonna be crazy analyzing this because this is how i can right first of all i just i adore knuckles and tails is looking at shadow you know what i mean just like oh god we're gonna hate this guy which again tells me there's going to be a big conflict throughout the movie and i really i i just can't wait to know how Shadow is going to be presented because we know from an earlier interview that Shadow the Hedgehog was basically going to be a character that's not like Knuckles. You know, they said Sonic is going to try to reason with Shadow the same way he would with Knuckles, but he's going to realize very early on that that's not possible. You know, my boy, my boy Shadow, a little bit of a crazier one out there, right? And obviously, I just love the look of the boys over here. But yeah, no, Shadow just the drip immaculate. The bracelets, too, a little different, actually. If you look at his bracelets over here, now, this is me going into like me being a psycho Sonic fan, but then you know that's what we're here for. Right here, right? You see, you see his little his little gloves as his armaments. I think these are better than his main ones. Cause if you look at his main ones, right? Like if we just search Shadow, you know, Shadow the Hedgehog, right? The armbands always for Shadow go like a little over him. You know what I mean? Like, like you see how how this uh, whoa, whoa, this image doesn't why is R using Bing? Whatever. Um, this is an official render. I need I need an official nice there it is. Okay, so usually over here he's got this little red part that kind of sticks out of it. Whereas if you go here, right, it sort of melds into the full arm over here. Now obviously this could just be be 
an art piece. I might be overanalyzing, but you know, that's what we're here for. Um, but I just love the look. I just, I love the look of the armband, especially when you tie it to the fact that where is, where's the image? We have the legs over here. And I actually, no, actually, I'm kind of wrong, actually. In this design, the armband goes up, but it doesn't go up as much as the original artwork. artwork. And we already know he can remove the armbands. We can remove the leg bands. You could tell they have like a little line here. So they're removable. But yeah, like if you put these together, there it is. Like we intentionally, I think, over here have the body and legs. Obviously, it's not a piece that like completes each other because one he has his arms down, the other he has his arms crossed. But yeah, this is technically the full look at the character. And so I think once we get the full reveal, if he looks anything like this, it's Jo Wadi the bro. I'm talking about finished. I'm talking about done. I'm talking about that's a wrap with our boy. God, the, the spiky equals over here. I can't wait to see how he fully looks in color. We're like, we're right there because we've seen what it, it'll sort of look like over here. But like this, it's insane. The fact that we don't even know the voice yet to me is unbelievable how much they've hidden. Now, I'm talking about something else, right? And this is something that we're going to get into and I think is a little underrated. And I might be reaching here, but I'm going to talk about it because I can't. Let's talk about our boy Sonic, right? So this is our boy, not not Jeff Fowler. There's our boy, Movie Sonic, right here, looking, looking as he does. But do you see this, right? Do you see the face, the expression? This right here, my friends, is this. This is this art piece, you know what I mean? It's a reference to it. Uh, quite literally, same pose, same eyelid style. Obviously, Sonic has like one eye up there uh, as opposed to two eyelids here. But it's, it's definitely like a reference to this art piece. And I think there's more to it than it seems. Again, this is me being crazy. But um, praying every day of my life that this is a sign of Sonic's attitude changing. I don't know when this movie takes place. I think we're gonna find that by the end of the Knuckles show where Sonic Movie 3 takes place. Um, but I do hope that there's some sort of time skip between movie two and three, maybe like a year or so. Um, because to me, this is looking like Sonic. This is looking like confident Sonic over here. You know what I'm saying? The quills are a little, little bit long. I don't want to go into the quill thing, but a little bit long. You could tell maybe he's, his torso a little, little longer over here. Could again, it can just be art, artistic style here. But I don't know, the smug look here tells me that this movie, we are finally going to see cocky teenager Sonic. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm talking about the Sonic from the 2000s era, from the adventure games where he, he knows who he is now, right? He's confident. Because remember, in movie one and two, Sonic's flaw, not flaw, but like it, the whole trilogy is Sonic kind of growing up in this world, right? And I feel like, you know, you have Sonic a little scared, even though he's making his quips and stuff. I feel like, I hope in this movie, Sonic at this point just knows what he's doing and he knows he's him, right? And if he's like a teenager at this point in these movies, right? This is when he's like fully in his, his mental bag, you know what I mean? Where he knows he's him. And that's why I'm praying the movie starts with City Escape. You know what I'm saying? Give me, give me that nice insight, which I have no doubt. I really, I'm telling you guys, I would genuinely be shocked if the start of this movie wasn't just City Escape. And so, like, I genuinely, I would, I would be in shock if that wasn't the case. I really feel like it's going to happen. The smugness here just tells me so much. I feel like that's what's so good about Sonic is like the body language of just being able to tell me how he is, how he's conveyed via just a picture. And again, I know I'm crazy, um, but I believe it, man. I believe it. It's like just even here. It's like this is reminiscent of that character. What's going on? What's up? Hi. How you doing? I'm recording a video. Hi. You're doing great. You're chilling. <laughs> but yeah, no. So I was saying, right, when it comes to Sonic, it's like the attitude and everything here is so good. And that's why when I see Shadow over here, I'm really thinking this movie is just going to be Sonic Adventure 2. Like, I, I feel, to me, this one is different. Because Sonic Movie 1 was just introducing Sonic in the human world. And you have some Sonic elements. Sonic Movie 2 is kind of like Sonic 3 and Knuckles, right? With Knuckles being the rival. But, like, besides that, everything is just new and different. You do have the Death Egg from, you know, 2. So, it's kind of a mix of, of 2 and 3. Whereas, I feel like here, we're jumping straight into Adventure Era. And I think Sonic Adventure 2's story and world and everything is just so iconic and important to Sonic as a, as a franchise that I feel like this time around, Tyson and the gang were just like, dude, let's just give them 
Sonic Adventure 2. You know what I mean? Let's just do what people want the most. Obviously, they'll have their own flares. They'll have their own discussions. They'll have their own style. We already have, you know, James Marsden, some different human elements. But let's make Sonic Adventure 2. And we still don't know if this movie features... Amy or Rouge, um, which I think it will. I, I have no doubt that the movie will bare minimum have either Amy or Rouge. I don't think both of them will be there as much as it would be cool. I think there will be at least one of them. Because one, I feel like you need to introduce a female, you know, that's part of the gang gang. Um, but I also just think they're pivotal to the story. I mean, Amy, Amy is very important to Shadow, right? Amy is a big reason Shadow, like understands a little bit in Sonic Adventure 2 and changes. Now, obviously, you could technically replace that with one of the human characters, uh, but, you know, that wouldn't be ideal, right? And Rouge, is Rouge an important part of SA2? I would say, in some way, she does taunt Shadow, you know what I'm saying? They, they build a dynamic, but I feel like you could get away with not having Rouge, but I feel like you'd need Amy. I don't know. I, I think they're, they're hiding it. Remember, we didn't even know Knuckles was going to be part of movie two. For the longest time, we were just like on the tails ride, but then he was announced there, but... Um, yeah, man, I just, I can't believe this. And we know, and we know Jim Carrey is there back as Eggman. So we know in a lot of ways it's going to follow SA2's plot. I, I feel like the movie is just going to do a cold start to when Eggman went to a free shadow. It's going to be either that or it's going to be Agent Stone's going to do it because we see Agent Stone is hiding as a gun soldier at the end of movie two. So it's going to be one of those two that are going to free Shadow the Hedgehog. And I just wonder how the dynamic is going to be because surely Shadow is not going to be like knuckles where he's hanging out with them and making quips i think he's just gonna go do his own thing he's gonna be told the mission he's gonna go do his own thing but it's just god like I, this just looks so good to me they if, if this is truly his design they cooked i mean they did a fantastic job. Now, i had no doubt that they would have have cooked you know i i know them they there's no way they wouldn't have but he just Look so, bro. Look at the top cool over here with the shading over here. Look at the middle one. Look at the bot. Look at the side ones. Right, just he looks so cool. And I, I want to know how their dynamic is going to play out. And not just that. Like, I just who's voicing this guy? Now, here's my thing. Right, we know we know a lot of things about this movie. Right. We know, obviously, Eggman's coming back. We know most of the cast is coming back. We know a few other uh, actors are joining into the fray. Uh, we just don't know what their roles are. We know another thing that s trailer movie trailers nowadays kind of show up, I want to say, four to six months before a movie comes out. That just seems to be the norm for movies nowadays. It's about, like, six months, I would say, out from it. And so I'm thinking when it comes to this movie, there's still a lot of stuff they can do before the main trailer i mean i think they still need a full poster which I, I my theory is we're gonna get the first trailer in like june i know maybe that's too soon that's maybe two three months from now and the movie's gonna be in december um but i feel like something's gonna show up in june maybe at least the voice bare minimum just you know shadow walking forward and we hear the voice that could do wonders it's like everything about this movie for me screams viral like the day they announce shadow's voice is going to go viral the day they maybe show amy it's going to go viral the day we get our first poster is going to be viral i i'm telling you they're going to recreate so many cool poses whether they recreate the sonic adventure 2 box art whether they recreate sonic and shadow uh crossing over the moon in the beginning of sonic adventure 2 like they're going to do poster references left and right i have no doubt the team gets it especially with tyson s on the team he's gonna tell him like bro you just need to do this, this, and this. He gets it. I don't even need to, to speak on that side. You know, so I'm just hoping they nailed that stuff. But there's so many cool marketing beats they could do. Like I said, I, I, we know the rumors that Shadow's going to be voiced by uh, Hayden Christensen or whatever. He's basically the guy from uh, from Star Wars. He was, uh, what's his name? Anakin? Anakin Skywalker. I, but again, that was a rumor. We, just, we still don't know his voice. It could be Keanu. could be they got the OG voice of uh, Shadow in there. There's plenty of voices they could have gotten. But I, I feel like when it comes to Shadow the Hedgehog, he's so popular that they probably want to get a big celebrity voice for him. As much as it would be cool to have a Jason Griffith or a David Humphrey from back in the day. Because David Humphrey did post a clip of him recording Shadow Lines in the studio. But that could have been for like a fan thing or anything. I don't think he'd be that open about posting stuff like that. But yeah, no, I... I'm so, I'm so happy, bro. I just, I cannot believe this. I, I can't believe where we're at. We're so, we're getting closer every single day. And the fact that they're done filming, 
is really good because now they're going to go into the production well is it production or post-production editing and all this stuff and i'm like shocked how few leaks there were about this movie i remember saw a movie too had those set leaks where you saw like knuckles sonic and tails standing outside with their little cutouts but we got none of that for movie theater. like no one has any idea what shadow is going to look like so i'm really excited to see what they do if we're going to get super shadow in there if we're going to get you know the team up are they going to fight the bio lizard or is the bio lizard a weird plot line because i, I feel like you I don't know. Bio Lizard, I understand, is weird, but it's also part of Shadow's character, right? Because obviously, you know, when it comes to Shadow, he's like, he sees the Bio Lizard as it's disgusting and creepy because it's like, that's what he was supposed to be. And so the movie's either going to start with them freeing Shadow or it's going to start with a flashback with Maria. But I'm not sure which ones they're going to go with, but it's going to be a ride regardless. You know, I'm, I'm really excited. But yeah, no, I, I know I uh, sat here and I analyzed uh, every little aspect of this, but yeah, I just, I love even Knuckles and Tails. Yeah, I, could just, I tell how much they're going to hate him and they're going to have their, I think, and obviously the movie's still going to be a comedy in some ways right there's still going to be a lot of funny elements i know knuckles and tails i feel like this time around they're gonna try to fight but they meet, might be silent but again it's like what do you do with their plots right because knuckles knuckles entire storyline in sa2 revolves around rouge so i wonder what he's going to be doing for this I mean, i'm sure we'll get an idea at the end of the knuckles show and tails tails is kind of like the antithesis not the antithesis but like the rival to eggman and obviously he gets the fake emerald i'm sure they're going to do that plot line in there but uh yeah no I'm, I'm very curious to see where the gang is with this something like james marsden like tom and and his wife and all these other characters do i i hope we don't get maddie oh no man no maddie's his wife actually i love maddie what's the the people that got married i don't remember their names um but those people i hope that plot line is just gone obviously we're gonna get gun in there and a lot of elements but guys let me know what you want to see the most from the movie like what are you most excited for to see first and foremost you know I, for me i just I want to hear the voice. I, I, I think with this movie, what's interesting is it's not enough to know who the voice is. I feel like it has to come with hearing it. You know what I mean? I think that's the big thing is we need both hand in hand. But yeah, no. So here's Shadow. Here's movie Shadow. He looks immaculate. Again, obviously, it's an art piece, so it could not be. But I have a feeling they're not just doing this for fun. I mean, all of them are following their movie design. But if we get... Oh, dude, if we get confident Sonic, oh my god, it's over. If if I start seeing, like, Sonic be the way he is in Sonic Adventure 2, where he's way more quippy, he's way more doing his own thing, he's way more attitude-based, but he's still with his gang, I just, I'm gonna lose my mind. Whatever they do, I'm going to lose my mind. So, guys, thank you all for watching. I love you. You're the best. And, of course, I will see you all next time. Peace out.